Alright, today I'm going to be making a um, beginner's guide to uh, gel breaking. Uh, this is going to cover just the uh, basic things you're going to need to know when you want to gel break your uh, iPod or your uh, iPhone. However, we're going to start with, uh, with uh, the YouTube videos. Um, on uh, my YouTube videos, I'm gonna pause that. if you um, click on this about this video, a lot of the times it will have links in here on where to download things. Main, mainly, it'll be from my website, but I also will post some uh, updates on how to fix a lot of the major errors a lot of people are uh, commenting on. Another good idea is to. Uh, Let's go ahead and go through the comments. See if anybody else is having the same problem you are, or you are. Because a lot of the times I will uh, respond to the comments on uh, how to fix it. So that's uh, one thing you definitely wanted to do is always just check the about this section or about this video section. So how links in there and also updates in there. Um, next thing I want to talk to y'all about is. Uh, my website actually is ipodtouched.blogspot.com. Um, on my website, I'll have the YouTube videos. Also, I'll go into a little more detail about the videos. Um, there's also comment sections on here that I usually try to respond to as well. Um, over here on the right hand side, I have a download section. This is where you can find your uh, different firmware versions, jailbreaks, uh, WinSCP, and other programs that you need to do some of the jailbreaking or just uh, ex or, uh, connecting to your iPod or iPhone. Um, the way these downloads work, let's say you want to download um, Be Clean. Just click on Be Clean. It's going to take you to a uh, mega upload site and the way these work is going to give you this three letters usually to enter it says please enter F and E so all you gotta do is type in F and E uh, these letters will differ every time you come but just whatever these letters are type in here then click download after you click download it will take you to another page where as you can see it says please wait and then it will have a countdown of about 45 seconds so all you got to do here is just wait the actual 45 seconds. Uh, down here will give you a file name, file size, description. Um, but that's it. You don't have to download any toolbars or anything. Some people are talking about downloading toolbars. That's over here. You don't have to do that. Um, I wouldn't even recommend doing it. You can if you want, by all means. Um, but I personally don't. But now you can see it just pops up as free download. So now you can just click that. And it will um, begin your uh, download shortly. Uh, my computer is running a little slow because I'm actually uh, making or editing some videos, so the computer's lagging. But uh, this will pop up, and you just click save. Um, remember where you save these files too, because I really can't help you um, tell you where you saved your files to. Um, I usually do it to my documents. Another good place to do it is just to the desktop. Let's go ahead and just do that. Just click save to the desktop and it'll download the file. Um, and after um, a lot of these files are uh, zip files, another popular uh, compression format is uh, the RAR or RAR files. Um, you're going to need a program to extract these files. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, close this. Um, the program that I use personally to um, extract these files is uh, I went ahead and up uploaded it to my um, web page, but it's a uh, IZARC right here. It's a free program. Um, been using it for a couple of years. It's really great because it's compatible with about 40 different uh, archiving uh, file formats. Um, works with all the popular. Uh, formats like the zip, the RARs, and also a ton of other different um, formats. Um, back 
desktop. So here's the file just downloaded. Um, I would recommend if you don't have a um, program to open up these files to download IZ or, uh, IZARC. It works very well. Um, all you got to do is you can just double click the file you download and it'll open it up. Now these are the files that you want. Um, in the for in the uh, firmware file, some of them are download as a zip. Some download just the actual firmware. Um, from here, all you would need to do is just click extract, and it ex extract everything for you. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. And on here, extract to you can change this to wherever you, wherever you want it extracted to. So we'll just do say you want to extract it to my desktop. Click OK. Click extract. It'll extract. Let me go get back to my desktop. You can see it extracted the uh, two files that were in that zip file to the desktop. So now you would all have all you'd have to do now is just uh, run the program if you wanted to install be clean. Um, as far as the uh, firmware versions, um, the, the major ones are 1.1. .1, or 1.1.1, 1.1.2, and 1.1.3. Um, so you can see these are the uh, zip files. But inside of them, there's always going to be, not always, but if it's a zip file or a rare or a RAR file, it'll have the actual firmware. Um, mine have a readme text. But the files that you're interested in when trying to restore are these right here that have these little. It looks like almost like a Lego icon with a little iPod on one side and a um, music note on the other side. So whenever you're trying to restore your iPod or update your iPod, those are the firmwares you want to use. You're going to want to select the ones that have this icon. You don't want to select the zip files. It's not going to work. A lot of y'all getting these real funky errors, and that's what it's coming from. You're just selecting the wrong file. Um, those are just some of the very basic things you need to know when jailbreaking just how to download files uh, to get the files go to my website um, another thing is just to know what uh, firmware you're running and to figure out what firmware you're running go to settings go to general and then click about oops general about and it'll tell you your version that you're running. I'm currently in 1.1.1. Um, but to uh, jailbreak version 1.1.1, you obviously have to be in version 1.1.1. Um, to jailbreak version 1.1.2, you're going to want to start out in 1.1. And then um, install Octoprep to jailbreak and then you update. Uh, there are videos on how to update and jailbreak each um, firmware but it's a good idea just to download all the different firmware versions because um, for every jailbreak you're going to usually need to start at least in 1.1 and work your way up you know to 1.2 or 1.1.3 um, so it's just a good idea just to download these off from the back because um, you're going to end up using them a lot especially to restore your iPod or uh, you know um, you like just downgrading because your iPod is not working or you want to try new or different jailbreaks or whatever um, I'm constantly swat or sw um, changing between all the different versions um, but that's just a basic little tutorial basic things you need to know for jailbreaking and uh, where to find some of the files